Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Today I have Brooks Waldman and uh, Brooks, welcome to the show. Thank you, yeah. Jeff. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? Well, I'm an architect. I've been uh, practicing architecture for over 35 years. Uh, I also do a lot of urban design now. Um, a lot more uh, working with cities and neighborhoods than I do with single individual buildings. Okay. Well, good. Well, why don't you explain to myself and, and to the viewers, you know, what does an arch architect actually do? That's a really good question, Jeff. I mean, it's more, um, I think, about the people we work with often. Um, people may sometimes feel that architects are all about buildings and just uh, building envelopes and design, but it should be more about people, in my view, and uh, I really enjoy working with people as part of the process. Okay. So, um, I mean, can or if it can, how does an architect actually shape a community? That's a really good question. I think more architects are beginning to become more active in their neighborhoods, more active in uh, shaping places and, and uh, actually making sure the design is a better, a better process and the products are better. Um, cities are oriented more toward um, getting it done, sort of the implementation. The design often is done by consultants such as architects, but uh, often a lot of it is getting to know the people that are in the neighborhood and, and really what you can do to sh make it individual, to make it really something special for that particular uh, uh, neighborhood or community. Okay, and I know we were talking off camera a little bit uh, a little while ago and you were mentioning how cities are starting to give back the land to the people. Um, do you have any examples of cities that have done that and maybe what are some of the results as a, or yeah as a result as some of, the, of, of this happening? Yes, actually if you think about it how much real estate is given over to the automobile and has been since the 50s really when the automobile sort of took over our society in a lot of ways. Uh, we moved not that many people with, with a lot of machines, and they take a lot of space. Um, more and more, the larger cities are beginning to uh, give some of that space back to the pedestrians to really um, uh, allow people to, to have uh, more community input uh, to look at other forms of transportation. We're seeing more uh, bicycles, really, in cities throughout the world. In Copenhagen, I think it's now 60% of the, uh, the movement, the mobility, is on bicycles as opposed to uh, automobiles, which probably was more like 80% uh, 25 or 30 years ago. So I think we're looking at, it's really about alternatives. It's not the automobile versus some uh, transit or light rail or something like that. It's more just giving more opportunities to do more things. And walking is so important, particularly people like myself. As you get older, you know, you spend so much time in front of a computer and maybe don't get enough exercise. So the one thing you can do is, is you move from place to place really to, to get more exercise. Okay. So yeah, so as a result of, of giving more space back to the pedestrian, Obviously, people are getting more exercise, more fresh air. There's, I guess, less pollution because less exactly. cars. Okay. Exactly. All those things that really make the community more livable. That's why we like sometimes European cities. They had squares. They, they had communities before automobiles, which is, is great because now they're kind of returning some of that back to where it's becoming more like that community where a square is a square for people and not a square for parking automobiles. Wow, very interesting. Well, thank you, Brooks, for coming in today. I really appreciate the information. And uh, if any of you out there would like to continue this conversation online, please do so by filling out the box below. Or if you want to contact Brooks directly, his email will appear at the end of this video. That's all I have for this week. Until next time, take care.